Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's understand about the designated area. So the designated area is a quilt feature which is used to indicate the areas for close examination or for special treatment. So this feature is used to highlight those areas which is either getting a special treatment or it has a close examination. So we have different type of surface treatment and surface testing. Now when we define a designated area, It creates a quilt or a surface to the selected boundary. And to define the closed boundary, we can use sketch, curve, edges or predefined surfaces directly from the part. So here we will see each technique one by one. So let's get started. And to define a designated area, go to engineering, designated area. Select a edge, go to reference, details, rule based, complete loop. Say OK. Flip the direction, see the preview and say OK. So you created a designated area. Now the same thing can be done just by selecting the shift key. So press and hold the shift key and move your cursor like this and select the surface. Flip the direction and say OK. Once again go to engineering, designated area, select this edge, press and hold shift key and select this area. Flip the direction and say OK. So this is the first way to create the designated area. And here we selected the edge directly from the part. Now the next technique is using sketch. So you can define a boundary using sketch for the designated area. So I'll just define the boundary with a rounded rectangle so i have this sketch and i'll use this sketch to define the boundary so suppose this area is my designated area then i'll go to engineering designated area then I will select this curve and I will say OK. And the designated area is created. Now suppose you have a small portion onto this curved surface and you want to assign a designated area for that portion. Then for that you can go with projected curve. So go to project, reference, Project a sketch, define, select this surface, sketch, select the reference, normal. Now this time I will just define a circle somewhere here. Just like this, I will say OK. I will go to reference, surface, I will select this surface and then direction and I will select this surface. Say OK. So I have a projected curve here. Now I will use this curve to add the designated area. So go to engineering, designated area and select this curve. Say OK and the designated area is created. Now the next technique is from predefined surfaces. So in case if you want to define this surface as your designated area and you already have this surface in your part, 
then you can use this surface directly to create the designated area. So, I'll just create this surface. So, select this surface, control C and control V. Say OK. And the surface is created. But this surface is not the designated area. This is just a quilt. Now, to convert this quilt to designated area, go to engineering, designated area, select this surface. Then you come to this surface and select this surface. Once this is done, go to reference and click on boundary chain. Just select one edge of this surface and say OK. And the designated area is created. Now, once you have created this designated area, it will reflect in your drawing. So, go to the drawing and you can see that the designated area is highlighted. Now, the surface or quilt generated as designated area cannot be used as a reference for surface modeling. For example, you cannot use this quilt for solidify, thicken, intersect or any other surface modeling feature. Now, you can attach the annotation to these designated areas. So, go to annotation feature, note, note with leader, select the surface. and say ok. Now, once you switch on the annotation display, you will get your annotation. This annotation you can bring to your drawing. So, this was the designated area and different techniques to add the designated area and I hope this video will be helpful. Now, you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.